everybody, it's Stitch Starcraft here, and today I'm going to be casting a 1v1 between Infinity Roz, uh, I'll just call him, I'll just call him Roz, and Rossi, TA Rossi, from Terra Australis. He's going to be the red Terran over here, and he's going to be going against, uh, in Infinity Roz. Infinity Roz is from Hong Kong. Yeah, Hong Kong, uh, HK Pride, I'm from Hong Kong as well, I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm the only Hong Kong caster, but... I, yeah, I, I'm from Hong Kong, I cast from Hong Kong, and Hong Kong is amazing, so I, I love Roz, um, I actually, um, kind of recently just met Roz, and so that's, that's definitely going to be interesting, uh, because Roz is a very nice guy, um, from what I, from what I know, so, um, I, I, I just thought I would just, you know, just cast his games, and that's going to be so cool. So it looks like he's going to be matched up against T.A. Rossi. I don't know if this is a ladder or... Oh, I think it's ladder because um, I, I, uh, Roz just said that he would thumbs down this map. So this is going to be a ladder matchup, T.A. Rossi vs. Roz. Both are very, very skilled players. Uh, Roz is actually the leader of Clan Infinity. And as you guys all know, Clan Infinity is a very, very competitive clan. They are... I think it's an invite only clan, so definitely it's a very good clan. There's some very, very good players. There's Neo Red Archon in the clan. There's also Revenant and uh, some other very good players in Clan Infinity. Um, so this is a very um, interesting matchup. It's going to be TA, also one of the better clans in Southeast Asia. They are humongous. They are Terra Australis from Australia. And it's, and it's going to be Rossi, who is none other than the less one of the better players in TA. And he's going to be, and it looks like this probe for Ross is going to be scouting into uh, Rossi's base. He's going to see actually the barrack and possibly the orbital command. So very normal for the Terran on the Terran side, very normal on um, the Protoss' side. And um, for those of you that know, this is Slag Pits. Uh, this is actually the new ladder pool. It's a pretty cool map, I would say. And uh, for these two uh, distances, it's interesting because... It's not the longest you can have, it's actually the second longest distance you have, because obviously the longest distance is over here. So, um, yeah, so I I would, I mean, uh, for a Terran, it looks like he's going to be, uh, the Terran side, for us, he's going to be putting down that factory. So, I am interested to see, uh, it can be Hellions, it can be Siege Tanks. Seeing Siege Tanks will be fun, because, um, yeah, Siege Tanks are really cool against Protoss, I believe, and... I mean, they're different because it feels like, for a Terran, um, since Protoss units have shields and all that, it feels like uh, Siege Tank doesn't do much, but it's actually really good. And I'm not sure what Ross, uh, what Roz is waiting for. He's not getting his Warp Gate research. This is weird. He's actually going for that fast expand, hopefully for uh, for Roz that, he, that this SCV won't scout it. And it looks like Rossi is going to be... Uh, does he actually scout that sneaky probe that goes for that expansion? Is he going to go down to scout the expansion? And it looks like... No, he is not going to scout that expansion. That is interesting. He actually didn't scout that expansion. I mean, look at that. It was right there, and he didn't scout it. He saw all of this, he didn't scout it. And it looks like Roz is just going to get away with that fast expansion. And it looks like we're going to be seeing Hellions. Oh no, that's not good. Uh, Rossi is getting supply blocked. Hellions and a, a starport. So it's going to be 1 1 1. I'm not sure if it's going to be Banshees or it's going to be Blue Flame Hellion Drop. Uh, Blue Flame Hellion Drop would be a very good uh, choice, but then obviously these stalkers can counter it. And it does look like we're going to be seeing some Blue Flame. This SCV, is he going to scout the expansion? I still. Really want to know, there's a hiding SCV. I, I hope it does add, it looks like he's going to scout the expansion. Yes, he does scout the <coughs> expansion down for Roz over here. So that's de that's definitely going to change his build right now. And I think Rossi really, right like right now, he realizes that he has, um, that he's going to be behind for a bit because this expansion is up and running. Um, is there going to be a forge? No, there's not going to be a forge. Uh, probes are going to be transferred over, and it looks like um, Rossi is just going to stick to this Hellion build. Um, is it going to be useful? I don't know, because um, there are only two gates, and it's actually a two-gate robo. So that's very interesting, and I mean, uh, these probes are pretty defenseless. There's only one stalker out there. 
Um, hopefully there's more stalkers out. There's going to be one observer on the way, which is very standard. You always want to have an observer to scout your um, enemy's army. And it looks like the blue flame is just going to be done. Um, there's two aliens in there. I think Rossi's going to have to wait for his fourth one. And that's going to be a small wait. It looks like he's not going to catch up with economy. He's, he doesn't decide to go for a fast expansion. So hope, he's, he's hoping... Actually, he's a bit impatient there. He chooses to just push out with three aliens because he realizes that he's he's down and it looks like Ross is prepared for this Hellion drop he knows that this Hellion drops coming over here and his two stalkers are already in position it looks like Rossi will have to move out because of these stalkers or not oh no Rossi bad idea to spawn there it looks like three probes are going to get sniped out four probes one alien does get sniped out not worth it three aliens get sniped out let's hope this medevac doesn't get sniped out pull out the medevac Ross, oh no, the, the medevac does get sniped out, that's not going to be good. That was a lot of money, I mean that was $400 of one hundred ass right there, and it, looks like, and it looks like the observer sees everything in here, so that's really not good. It's not really good for Rossi right now, I mean look at this, Ross has this expansion going up, he's got a Colossus on the way, oh my god, he's got a Colossus on the way, so when the Colossus is done, that's not going to be good. Does he have thermal ads being upgraded? No. Oh, he just started it right when I clicked on it. What excellent timing. And it looks like we're going to have, going to have a Banshee. I wouldn't say a Banshee would be the best idea because there is an Observer out on the field. And this Observer does scout that uh, Rossi has no expansion. So, I mean, Ro Rossi is really behind in economy. I mean, too bad I don't have the, the new income tab thing. But let's just stick to the old stuff. Um, we are going to see the income tab and just look at it. Roz is up by 11 workers. That That's really not good. Oh my god, it's it's getting worse. It, he's actually up by 13 right now. And that's just really, really not good for the Terran player. Because, I mean, look at his army. It just it really affects to his, his army as well. And, and um, yeah, just it's just not good. Right now, this Hellion is going to scout. He's going to see these probes. Hopefully, he's going to snipe out a few probes. A few probes do get sniped out. Does are the probes getting? Oh my God! One money shot over there, and looks like he's going to get some kills off this. Wow, that was actually. <coughs> <coughs> wow, excuse me. I I have a very bad sore throat. I've been eating ice cream all week, so that 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 really wasn't smart. Nope, that that wasn't smart at all. Okay, but don't judge. Ice cream is. Amazing. I've also ate Froyo. If you guys like Froyo, that, that's amazing because Froyo is just... Everything's amazing. Food is amazing. Honestly, you gotta agree. Oh! And it looks like Rossi is going to be pushing out. Is this going to be enough? There's going to be another Colossus right here. One more queued up. Oh my god. There's only two gateways. Why not more gateways? I really want to know why Ross does not make more gateways. Rossi doesn't push out. It, 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 was, it looks like it was just going to be a fake push. And it looks like this probe is going to get sniped out. And actually, interestingly enough, Rossi is not going for an expansion still. He's really, really going to, to just try to end this game with the one base play. But I, I honestly don't think, unless he can do perfect micro and snipe out that Colossus with this small of an army, then he can do a lot. Do these Banshees even have Cloak? And uh, no, they don't. And it looks like these Hellions are going to be out of position. That's not good at all. I mean, Hellion's out of position is never what you want. It looks like this Colossus is going to get... Oh! Bad time to stim over there. Perfect positioning for Roz over here. Some good force, force fields. Just excellent. No point defense drone. What is Rossi doing? A bit late for the point defense drone. Seriously, it's, it's just too late. Just too little too late, I would say. I mean, look at this. Look at this damage. The raving gets sniped out, everything's gone, Rossi has to put GG out because he has got no expansion, and look at this, wow. Yeah, so that was the game, Ross wins, um, it is going to, uh, yeah, so Ross wins, and this is Stitch Starcraft, and I'm going to be signing out, so peace out guys, and please rate, comment, and subscribe, bye bye.